A lot of you have probably heard of Beat Saber before. Beat Saber is actually one of the most popular VR games out there and my mission is to recreate it. So let's get into it. So if you've seen the game, you would know that the items that the player uses to hit the blocks are sabers. So I started by creating 3D models of the red and blue sabers. While modeling the sabers, I tried giving them a glowing effect which actually was my first time trying the lighting system in Unity. And after that I replaced the player's hands with the sabers and I got this. Alright, now that we've made the sabers, it's time to work on the actual game. So, the main mechanic of the game is that cubes are flying at the player while they're trying to hit them in the right orientation. So I started by creating simple 3D cubes with indicators of where to hit them. And then I made a cube generator and made it spawn cubes in 4 random places and 4 random orientations. After that, I just changed the map around a bit so it would match the real beat server game. And although it doesn't look exactly the same, it's close enough. Alright, now that I added the basic cube generation, and the map, it was time to add the collision between the saber and the cubes, which involved a bit of math for the angle of collision so we would know which angle the saber is colliding with the cube to avoid destroying it if the angle is incorrect. But the game still kinda looks weird because whenever you collide with the blocks, they just disappear without any indication of them being destroyed. So that's when I found this amazing library called Easy Slice, which lets you cut objects into two different parts depending on where you cut it. So I searched for a tutorial and found a great and easy one to follow. So after a bit of work I made the cube sliceable, but uh, yeah, that happened. But actually it wasn't that hard of a bug to fix, I just had to make the ground not collidable with the cubes so they would fall through. But still there was something missing in the game, so I decided to use Unity's particle system and add some particles for the scenery and when the cubes are getting destroyed to give the game an all around better feel. So once I did that, it was time to add the music and the project was finished. Surprisingly, this project was easier than I thought. Although this wasn't the exact replica of the actual game, but it had the core mechanics. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. If you want to see more content, you can click on these videos. The video on the left is my first VR game I've ever created, and the video on the right is a devlog for a game I'm creating. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one.